Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings be on all of you. So this is day 13, I believe it is. God, it's just, time is just going quickly. Days are going quickly. Before you know it, it's going to be the end of Ramadan. So it's just like really making most use of, of this month, you know. And this is what it's about for me especially. I'm trying to achieve my goals. I'm tr trying to become more spiritually spiritually connected to God. So for me, there's no better time than Ramadan. And so really, I just want to ask you how your day's gone. I mean, for me, it's gone pretty well. I've worked today, as in I've you know, been working in my day job and then still finding time to, to work on my goals. So for me, I've been doing my, my uh, Quran and I've been doing the translation as well. Those are two of my goals, two of my main goals, as well as eating healthy and exercising and things. I wasn't able to exercise as much as I want. Oh, sorry, I didn't exercise at all today. I just, I really didn't get the chance to do that, given it was literally so busy. Um, but I was able to meet my two other goals, which is the Quran, reading the Quran, and then doing the translation. And so really, I just want to give you a few, uh, you know, a couple of, you know, uh, just a reminder, first of all. So it's more more of a reminder and just a tip, really, for you to for you to follow it may benefit you. I mean, for me, what I did was I, was I was working today. So whenever it was quiet, I made sure that I made the maximum, you know, an efficient use of the time that I had available. So when I was reading the Quran, what I did was my, one of my aims is to read half an hour, half an hour of, of, of the Quran. So what I did was basically I literally got my phone out. And I timed it for like about 30, 31 minutes just to allow for any distractions that might happen. So if someone calls me or anything, I can just pause that time and then, you know, do whatever I need to do and then come back to reading the Quran. So if whenever I was reading, I'd pause it and then I would do what I need to do, come back. So in that way, I knew exactly how much I was reading. I could keep track of how much time that I was using for Quran. So it's just a type of just a, just a tip for you to really use. You know, whenever you're doing anything, you know, if you if you if you're committed to achieving a specific goal, it's always useful to get like a timer or something. It's, I mean, it just works for me. It might work for you. So it's just a suggestion, yeah, for some for you to try. So give that definitely give that a try and see how that works for you. And really, this is just a reminder, a reminder for for both myself and for you, that time is ticking away. Time really is running out, like anything, you know, and we just need to make the maximum use of this time that we have available. Because God knows, we're not, you know, how do we know we're going to be alive tomorrow? So really just making use of that, of that time and managing your time effectively. And that's really, that's the message for today's video. And yeah, I just want to know how things are going for you. I hope things are, you know, shaping up to be uh, as, as well as you're expecting them to, to have gone and really it's just making that use making full use of the time that we have available so if there's anything that I'd like you to take away it's that time management making use of the time with no distractions as I've mentioned before in the previous video so until then have a great evening and I hope you have a uh, you know a successful fast tomorrow and we'll definitely speak again Take care. Assalamu alaikum.